Hello friends, this is Pankaj Chhatri and you are watching AM Tutorial. In this video, I will cover the topic client library. In this particular video, I will explain the theory, what is client library and why it is used and how to reference it and what are the properties in the client library. And in my next video, I will cover the practical of client library, how it works. So what is client library? It is actually used to manage client side resources such as your JavaScript, CSS files, images, fonts, etc. And why do you need it? It is actually needed because to keep all the client side resources well organized in project folders in the CRX repository. Because to, in today's days, the complex websites are heavily, are heavily dependent on complex JavaScript and CSS. So maintaining and organizing those files becomes very cumbersome and complex. That's why AEM has introduced this concept of client library to keep all of them organized. You can use this script type and include your script.js, but this is not recommended because it works in AEM, but it can lead to problems when page and its components become complex. In such cases, there is the danger that multiple copies of same JS and JS may be included. That's why it should be avoided in AEM applications. Now consider example, suppose there is a website, in the first year they had, suppose they had 10 pages and in the second year as they grow, in the second year they release 20 pages and in the third year they release 100 pages. To maintain this complex web website, so in this case all the client side resources must be well maintained, otherwise, otherwise there is a danger that multiple copies of same JS and CSS may be included. That's why in AEM we need to use client library. To organize them very well. How you can call client library? So there are three ways. So this is the syntax of calling client library. To call all the JS files, you need to use data slide use, and this is a template, clientlib.html. You can go to the CRX and see this template also. And uh, this is the object name, and I'm using data slide call. So this is the clientlib and dot JS. To call the JS from the client library, this is this is how it is used. And then the category name of the client library. This category is a property of client library to identify the client library. And to include the CSS, the same concept is used. Template file is clientlib.html. And in the client lib, here it is used .css. And the, again, the category is same. And to include both JS and CSS from client library, this is the syntax. Here you need to use this .all. Now, what are the properties that lies in client library? First is categories. This is actually used to identify the respective client library. The second is dependency. This is a list of other client library categories on which your library folder depends on. For example, consider I have a client library of categories named script and it actually depends on other client library which is having jQuery in it. So what I will do, I will use the, I will use dependency properties and I will give a client library name in this dependency properties. Another is embed. This is used to embed code from other libraries. For example, I have two JS in different libraries, suppose. So CL1 has different JS and CL2 means uh, CL2 library has different JS. So if I will use embed property, so in this case, first client library will concatenate with the JS of second client library. So these are the three main important properties of client library. We will see all these in action in our next video. Thank you friends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.